Hello, and this is a quick video on how to make a quiz in Scratch using the ask and wait block. So basically using text. So I'm just going to jump into it. we got this guy. He's going to ask our quiz question. We can go to sensing, and here is our ask and wait block. And our question is going to be, what is the capital of New York? Okay, hopefully you know that answer, but, well, it is a little tricky. It is not New York City. Oh, when somebody, when we use this block, somebody types in something, that gets saved right here in a variable called answer. So I'm going to click on this just so you can kind of see up here how this is where it would save the information, where it would actually show what's saved in there. Um, you don't have to have that clicked, and normally I wouldn't. But in any case, that's there. And we then need to figure out, is their answer correct or not? So we are going to use not just an if-then, but an if-then-else block here to basically say, OK, is it right? If it's right, then we do something. If not, we do something else. So in this case, we want to compare the answer. So if we're going to compare, we need an operator. And we're going to use the equals. You could use a greater than or less than if we had to do with a number, and maybe it had to be greater than something, whatever. But usually, you're going to use an equals. And we are going to compare the answer. So the answer is a variable, but that will be whatever they put in. And if it equals, hopefully you know this, Albany. Okay, now, you have to spell it right. Um, the, it's not case sensitive, so you don't have to worry about capitals. Um, but if you do something silly like a space there, that would actually mess things up unless the actual person put a space. So you have to be careful with some little things. That's one problem with uh, using this. Now, if it is Albany, then we are going to not be very exciting here. I'm just going to have him say that's right. I know, boring. You can do better. So if it is not Albany, then it will jump down to the else. And we are going to have them say, no, click the flag to try again. So they could basically restart the thing. So right there, that's all it really takes. So let's see if it actually works. So we're going to start him. He asks the question. Now, if I put in New York City, again, capitals really don't matter, but it's wrong. Anyway, I'll say no, click the flag to try again. And you can see where that just shows what I did put there. Now I'll click the flag and try again. And I'm not even going to capitalize, which I... I think it's okay to not be case sensitive. So Albany, no space or anything. And yay, that's right. Congratulations. So there you go. That's really it. And the fact is what you put in the if and the else could be so many different things. And I mean, you could deal with numbers and everything, but basically it's using that variable of answer and making sure it's equal to whatever is the correct answer. Um, definitely test them out, but I could see this being real easy to use to make multiple uh, quiz questions for really just about anything. So there you go.